it slices, it dices. This is the latest sword fighting first person shooter game and it's Ghost Runner and man you do a lot of running. Uh, the intro sets up a really cool game. Uh, I thought it came out this year but actually came out last year so I'd say it's definitely a contender for uh, best first person shooter of the year. Uh, right up there with uh, the latest Doom entry. And uh, yeah, I, I'm surprised it's taken like almost a year for me to play it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of jumping involved, uh, a lot of precise jumping, but the game is actually very forgiving. Um, there were some moments like it was kind of tricky, kind of like uh, when Nick and I played uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst two weeks ago. Uh, there's some moments where it's like, okay, you, you, I got stuck. There was one moment with the pipes and then I realized I was going the wrong way. So I was trying to like travel downwards, which was, uh, I'm like, oh, they want me to go downwards. And then I realized after checking a walkthrough, oh, okay, no, I'm supposed to backtread where I thought was like the entrance way or where I had come, actually come from. Uh, so yeah it can be kind of disorienting i feel like it's not really that tricky it's a very linear game actually for the most part i only played like the first proper stage but like there's some parts when you're actually playing the game i feel like you're playing it 10 20 times over and over again like um for example there's one open area where you can uh like there's uh, five guys in sort of like a circle in a large room and like you're sliding which is really neat that you can slide down ramps and uh, in this game kind of like it felt like a Prince of Persia sort of um, you know moment there and then you you hack away and like this game leading into that this game is quite gory actually you only have the sword you don't have like a like a lot of FPS's. You don't have like any secondary weapons. You don't have any like, um, you know, like uh, pistols or anything. Like that's all you've got. So, and it's it at first when you first start playing, it feels kind of harsh because like one shot and you're gone. And they but the uh, save points in the game they're very forgiving like even though you may have to try a certain area 10 or 20 times like it's only that little area like they could have made it a lot harder um, playing this game but they didn't you know they realized okay they play tested it uh, it's a pretty cool game uh, it's also a short game for $40 you get a most people get like six to nine hours of gameplay experience uh, yeah, so the one hit kills dynamic like you either get good or you just give up in a certain area and like I found like if the game really encourages you to get good or stay dead and It's not harsh like other games where like you don't want to keep playing and I, The graphics are amazing. Honestly, this is how I felt like cyberpunk 2077 was going to be like um, It's it looks exactly what I imagine like Blade Runner or would look like in a video game like it's just really well polished the music and sound effects uh, mostly the music is sort of like a Daft Punk electronica um, that's what I recognize the most uh, just playing through this so so the game actually gets really really intense as well guys like it, it's uh, this is this reminds me of Doom Eternal. Like as I was alluding to, it came out last year uh, in 2020. I thought it came out this year. I've been sitting on this game unfortunately for almost a year. Finally get to play it, and wow! Like I'm glad that I really tried it. Um, and it gets really intense. Like there's moments where you're like, oh, I just missed, uh, you know, swiping at smiting the guy by like half an inch or something crazy, and then you're like. Oh, you know what? I'll give it another shot. And like, you, it's it. The game never discourages you as you're doing this. Like, it, it really feels like okay. You know that that cheap shot at me wasn't really that cheap, or like someone shooting from like meters away in the game. Um, it's it feels fair. Like, it's 
really feels like it's your fault if if you don't manage to uh, you know take out all of the enemies as you're running through the levels and you really are moving like almost all the time uh, having played ultra kill yeah this is another FPS where like it's it can be brutal um, all in all if you want a shorter gaming experience that's quality over quantity I would highly recommend this I don't know what is going for uh, sale on sale probably I assume like 30 bucks 25 bucks which is super fair it's a really polished game it's just a shorter gaming experience but it's totally worth you know you uh, checking it out like as soon as possible honestly like this is right up there with when Nick and I did the Doom Eternal review I would say it's like close to game of the year quality up there with that and uh, um, right on the same echelon as like Streets of Rage 4 from last year you know no doubt uh, I would definitely pick it up it's full price 40 you could even pick it up for that much so uh, yeah anyways guys don't run with knives and don't run with scissors. Keep on gaming. Bye.